part two to our watch along of Sudani from Nigeria, uh, the 2018 Malayalam film. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, you're going to see a very cut version. If you'd like to see the full uncut version, though, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description below in the pinned comments so you can go check that out. <laughs> Let's just get back into this. Thank you. Thank you. It's going to be too long. Uh, <laughs> അങ്കറിയ ുംബാണ് <laughs> I won't escape from this world. It's a better world. Samuel Samuel what happened Samuel Samuel Vivin I want to go home manager My My grandma she died Yeah it's a piece of shit cheap bottle ticket to Kyam അപ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് പോകുന്ന ഏരിയാവും ഒറ്റക്ക് പോകാൻ പറ്റും ഡോക്ടർ സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ട് ജേറ്റം വില കുറഞ്ഞ ടിക്കറ്റ് ഒന്നും നോക്കാം എന്നിട്ട് എന്നെ വിളി ആ ഞാൻ നോക്കി ആയിരത്തിച്ചേരാ എവിടെയാണ് എന്തെങ്കിലും കൊഴപ്പുണ്ടോ ആളാത്തുണ്ടോ ഒരു കാര്യം ചെയ്യും തിങ്കളാഴ്ച കാലത്ത് ഒരു പത്ത് മണിയാകുമ്പോ ഒറിജിനൽ പാസ്പോർട്ട് കൊണ്ട് എസ് പി ഓഫീസിലേക്ക് നിങ്ങക്ക് പറഞ്ഞത് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ ഇനി അഥവാ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ തന്നെ നിങ്ങളെ വിളിച്ച് ഏൽപ്പിക്കില്ലേ സോ പ്ലീസ് പോലീസ് കംപ്ലൈന്റ് missing passport for original passport no no duplicates small time come fast no duplicates i want my passport get me original passport my original passport i want original anna je pogana den you don't go home i am helping you you say no then you go find your passport enna kondu vayi ingal indu kaana nikkal my passport fake no real thara i go jail i afraid manager I know you, you can't believe but my life not easy. We live in a refugee settlement with thousands of people. There was no ration. We had to buy everything. Food, water, everything. It was difficult to get a job. We still roam around, try to make some money, money to feed our family. But it was never enough. Some of us We're lucky to go to better countries, play football and make up some money. So, I tried my luck. I got 
got selected to India. Everybody was happy. My grandma, my sisters, <laughs> everything was going to change. But I was a refugee. I had no passport. The only way was a fake passport. And it was expensive. I had to make more money. I worked hard, day and night. I moved from one street to another, selling different things. I could pay half only. Other half, I had to pay from here. I still owe him money. അഭയാർത്ഥി കാർഡ് കിട്ടും പക്ഷെ അതൊരു വലിയ ട്രാപ്പാണ് ഇവിടെ മറ്റു രാജ്യങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് വരുന്ന അഭയാർത്ഥികൾ അവർക്ക് ജോലി ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിയില്ല യാത്ര ചെയ്യാൻ കഴിയില്ല താമസിക്കാൻ വീട് കിട്ടില്ല അങ്ങനെ ഒരുപാട് പ്രശ്നങ്ങളുണ്ട് ഈ ജോലി ചെയ്യാൻ ഇവിടെ അഭയാർത്ഥികൾക്ക് നിയമം അനുവ അനുവാദം കൊടുക്കുന്നില്ല പിന്നെ അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ പട്ടിണിയായിരിക്കും പിന്നെ ഉണ്ടാകുന്ന ഒരവസ്ഥ അപ്പം ഇത് കണ്ടില്ല ഇവിടെ ഈ റോഹിംഗ്യൻ ഇപ്പോഴത്തെ അവസ്ഥയിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഈ ആഫ്രിക്കക്കാരനെ പാസ്പോർട്ട് ഇല്ലാത്തത് കൊണ്ട് അനധികൃത കുടിയേറ്റക്കാരിൽ ഉൾപ്പെടുത്തി ജയിലിലടക്കാൻ സാധ്യതയുണ്ട് ഞങ്ങൾ <laughs> 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 What were your thoughts there, Rick? Oof. Hmm? What were your thoughts? Oh, I, 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 I'm surprised at some point you didn't stop it. Oh, no, I, I, just, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed that? Yes, I did. What did you enjoy about it? It was a film about humanity and, and people. There were flaws in it, for sure. You I, liked it because it's a film about 
humanity and people. Uh, I liked it because it was a, a good film about humanity and people, yeah. What are the good things about the film? Uh, the performances, the, the uh, I don't think, obviously, the, the guy who played the Nigerian was the best. Obviously, I think they hired footballers to be actors more than anything. But um, the Subin, I, I really enjoyed his performance. I think a lot of it was uh, more nuanced because it was a lot of broken English of certain people trying to understand so they can only understand English. And, and so I think it was, there was a lot of that, but um, I enjoyed it. Um, I think the uh, the overall story was a, a, a nice story about people um, helping each other and overcoming differences and um, just being there for other people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, you didn't like any of it? No. Why? Uh, we. <laughs> I didn't find anything to be particularly engaging or interesting. Uh, I found a majority of the content to be about as thought-provoking and attention-grabbing as if I was sitting in the DMV watching people interact at the DMV. I didn't see anything of any kind of consequence taking place. Um, there wasn't anything that stood out in cinematography. There wasn't anything that stood out to me with performances. Um, you're being kind in saying that the guy who played the Nigerian soccer player wasn't the best. Well, he's definitely not the worst foreigner we've ever seen. That's for damn sure. No. Yeah, you definitely can't but, cry, obviously. But Yeah, and I just and, – and even things that are supposed to be a big payoff, I could think of several, but one that kind of encapsulates the payoffs not working mm – -hmm. She said at the beginning of the film, he it's I can't remember the last time he called me mother. Mm -hmm. And he calls her mother at the end, and she just acts as if it's just another day. At the end there? Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think she did. I think yeah, she, she just, he said, mother, I'd like something to eat. And she just looked at the dad, and they all walked into the house. Oh, I didn't. I, I think she actually was, because uh, it was a big moment for her there at the end of one, him calling her mother, but also um, c coming to terms with the, the stepfather there. Um, well, the, the coming to terms with the stepfather there obviously was a big deal for her. But when he called her mother, there was, there was nothing in her performance or in the edit or uh, anything cinematography-wise that it was just, it just kind of went right on by. I'm, I am... Utterly astonished that you like this movie. I'm actually kind of astonished that you just hated this movie. Yeah, it's, it, I found it. I found it just tremendously boring. Yeah, yeah. No, I thought it was definitely a, a slow film, but I enjoyed it because I, I enjoy Subin. I enjoyed his performance. I, um, I appreciated the the <clears throat> excuse me there, the difference in um, what they were doing with this story of telling somebody who's. Uh, a foreigner and how uh, you know everybody came in and um, how how normal people would act from a different country when somebody from another country, especially in India, obviously. But I mean, similar to probably how you, when you went to Papua New Guinea, people treated you obviously there because you were just so different, obviously. And so there was those differences there, and and how they kind of all got together. It was kind of it was symbolic of um um. I was thinking of that Veer Das stand up once time when he was talking about, you know, they were going up to this um, African American, not African American, African, and you called him Blackie. And then he was talking about how that's not racist because there's no malice in his heart. Mm -hmm. Remember that one, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, so I, it was kind of like um, um, symbolism of, of that kind of thing in the film of um, it was no like judgment about this. They were just excited that this person was there. And also, obviously, with India being. You know, the guest is God and all that kind of stuff. And so it was, um, there was a lot. Of, I think it was definitely a slow, I'm not going to say it was not a slow film. It was definitely a slow film, a slow burn. But I I enjoyed the songs. I enjoyed Subin's performance because I thought it was uh, different because it was, I think it was probably challenging because of how much one he had to, I don't know how fluent he is in, in English. Like if he, like if he can talk normal or um, not normal but like if he can speak fluently in english or if he kind of talks more similar to this character but um i'd never seen him do the style of uh character um I, I, there's definitely flaws in terms of obviously 
some of like the Nigerian performance. He was definitely wasn't the strongest for sure. He you could definitely tell he couldn't cry, and so they were being kind to him and letting him cover his face and all that kind of stuff. Um, and obviously the the dubbing issues, but overall, I thought it was a, a really nice story about humanity and 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 people. And um, yeah, I'm, the way that you're uh, shocked that I liked it, I'm kind of shocked that you. I mean, I I could tell that you didn't like it while watching it, um, but I'm shocked that you didn't like it because it's not one of the films that you normally like. And when a film's starting and watching, and I'm watching, I can normally tell like you're not gonna like this at all. I I, I I know your style, obviously. This is not one of those films, so I'm guessing it was just boring to you more than anything, mm -hmm. uh, than as opposed to the 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 overall style. Um, but I like, like I said, I enjoyed the 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 songs and the performances and um, the the overall film. I think it was I think it was definitely a thousand percent a small budget film. Like I don't if I. I, I can't tell what the budgets are in crores or whatever they are, so I don't. I have no reference point of what yeah, but a I budget mean, means to. But, it, but that that I didn't. I don't consider that a, a reason for it not being a good movie. Um, I it, think it was very Malayalam in terms of a a, a slow burn. A, a lot of the films have those that style of. Um, I mean, not the ones we watched this year from from last year because all those had comedy and, and all that kind of stuff. So very very different films. Um, like Jai Jai Jai, uh, the Associates, the, the what was the other one we just watched? The oh, the Case one, and then the Battle of Bras. So they're mm -hmm. all those are all obviously very very different style of films. Um, I think, um, and I haven't seen his review of this if or if, if they've watched it at all. But I know um, Jimmy and um, Buddy Meister um, have coined a phrase called Mali Malayalam Chill or something like that mm -hmm. um, about a Malayalam films that's just really slow kind of um goes at its own pace and that's what i would consider this um nothing good about it nothing no wow rick wow. yeah no i it's my if if i'm this is just I, I was i just found it to be tremendously boring with average performances and some extremely subpar performances with no particular sense of i mean they Took care of him while he was ailing. I, I didn't see anything that was anywhere approximating a profound sense of acceptance or kindness. I don't know how finding an illegal passport gave him the scot-free. I thought that's why he was in legal trouble was not just for not having one. But the fact that it was. No, nobody knew he didn't have a, a, a nobody knew that he didn't. That he had a fake passport. One, but was that he didn't have a passport, so they thought he was a refugee. That's why he was in trouble because he didn't have the. Yeah, um, I just. That's why he was in trouble. I just. I didn't see anybody have much uh, growth, transformation. Just well, they were I, nice to the guy. I don't know if it's particularly growth. I think it's like I said. I think it's a film just about humanity in terms of people helping other people. I don't think it's like they were racist. Now they're not. Uh, I don't think it's that kind of well, film. And again, yeah, but in helping him, that's what I mean. It was like watching somebody at the DMV help someone fill out a form. I don't, I didn't see anything in it that was, but there was no payoff at the end in terms of, I promise you, when you reach a film that is supposed to be a slow thing and it's relational and people being kind and humanity, there should be some semblance of an emotional evocation that comes in the finale when they reach the place where he's leaving and they're exchanging shirts. They even did a cutaway for reaction because there is potential emotion that's going to be transpiring there. I, there was zero emotional care. It's like, okay, he's going back to Africa for his family. That's wonderful. I, I, I didn't believe there was anything of consequence taking place. Well, I got that emotion at the end, though. I didn't get emotional. I don't. I don't do that, um, but I got that emotion. I was um, uh, the feel the 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 feels for it at the end. Obviously, the it's a nice soccer gesture there at the end. Obviously, of of exchanging uh, sh shirts and stuff like that. I, I definitely felt the relationship between Subin's mom and the Nigerian. Um, her care for him, obviously, she just treats him like she does her kids and stuff like that. I think she kind of um, um, almost cared for him, like. 
she wanted to care for, obviously, S Subin and, and stuff like that. So um, I'm sorry you didn't uh, connect to it. That's uh, Me too. That's always a bummer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Me yeah, too. I never like that kind of stuff, obviously. But uh, you guys can let us know what you thought about the film, uh, if you enjoyed it, if you didn't like it, uh, and stuff of that nature. Uh, let us know what the next Malayalam film, uh, Subin or otherwise, uh, that we should watch is if you'd like to see the full uncut version of our reaction, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put the link in the description below and the pinned comment. And oh, I need to do that. I need to on to the next episode button. Oh yeah, well, you do. Oh wait, that's the. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs>